Hello and welcome to Hyperdog Digital. Today we're going to take a look at a fitness bracelet, fitness watch by uh, Beasy Joy, and that is B E A S Y J O Y. Uh, this is the box here, and as you can see when you open it up, there's really not much in it. You got your instructions, and you have just a little uh, little case here that, that it sets in when it's in the box. I'll go ahead and set that aside real quick. Here's the fitness band itself right here. Uh, pretty standard, nothing too uh, too out of the ordinary here. Uh, it's a, it's a rubber band, uh, wristband that here goes around here, and that's how it connects up. Pretty standard. Uh, lots of them connect uh, in the same way. Uh, it is all one piece. There's no hinges or anything like that. Um, what is a little bit different about this guy is is how you actually charge it, and you actually have to pop it out of the out of the band. And if you can look right here. This is a USB connection, so you actually slide that into a USB port, uh, either on your laptop, or your computer, uh, if you have a USB hub, you can plug it in there, uh, and that is actually uh, how that works. Now, I'm not a big fan of that myself, uh, particularly because I don't like taking it in and out of this band. As you can see here, there's already a few nicks, scratches from me trying to yank it out of there. Maybe there's a better way for me to get it out that, that it doesn't destroy the watch band, but. I have to imagine that after a while it's going to really beat it up. So moving on to just the watch itself, uh, or the smart smart band itself here, it's uh, it's pretty standard. Uh, there's nothing really out of the ordinary uh, that it does uh, that, uh, that any of the, uh, the other normal ones do. Uh, you can see there's a little circular uh, item here which is really where you need to tap to, to change things to turn it on. And if you just tap it on here it comes up with uh, the time, uh, battery, the day, and the date, tap it again, it'll scroll through the different items. You have your walks, uh, how much calorie you burn, uh, your distance you've traveled, uh, how long you've slept. Uh, this is actually a phone finder. If you tap this a couple of times, it'll, it'll ring your phone, your heart rate, and back to uh, the time. Uh, so this is, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, a couple of things that, that, that I, I wasn't really, uh, really thrilled with on this. Uh, as you can see, it, it turns off very quickly. Um, so if you're trying to actually take a measurement, like for instance with the, the heart rate, uh, one that really drove me nuts, it would turn off in just a couple of seconds. So if you're really trying to watch what your heart rate is, uh, it, 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 it would turn off if you're trying to take a reading. It was very difficult to, to keep that on for a very uh, a decent amount of time to see what's going on. The other thing is, is it looks like you're you're stuck in the 24-hour time format. There's no option to change it to a 12-hour, uh, which was uh, not a big deal, but uh, you know, for some people, may be uh, a little obnoxious. Now, the real downfall, or really the the positives to to this uh, this fitness band, is the software that comes with it that runs on your phone. Uh, I say that it's a positive and a negative because it does have a lot of good features, a lot of good. Uh, tracking and reporting. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with uh, a lot of these type of uh, generic brands, uh, there, there's the, the software is very unpolished, uh, and you can tell that it, it came from uh, from China, uh, as there are a lot of broken English and even uh, some Chinese lettering still uh, uh, scattered throughout the throughout the software. And we will go ahead and take a look at that right now. Okay, so here is the software, and this software is actually called JU. Uh, and uh, one thing that you'll notice here, uh, if you take a look in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, where some of the notifications are, you'll see that there is just a, a white box. Uh, that is unfortunately what the, uh, the the software looks like when it's in persistent mode. Uh, it just gives you a white box. There's uh, there's nothing else there. Uh, that to me says it's a little unfinished. Uh, they don't have uh, an icon up there for you, uh, just something to indicate that it's, it's running in the background. Uh, and, and that's a lot of, of what's going on in this software here. It, it, is, it is decent software. It does give you all of the, uh, the, the, the normal options that you'd get with, uh, with a fitness band. Um, uh, but uh, some of the wording is, is certainly off. And uh, when I first installed the software, it, it came up and, and was asking me to, to do an update. Uh, to the software. Now unfortunately uh, I wasn't exactly sure what it was asking because the entire uh, pop-up window was in Chinese. 
so uh, after a little bit of figuring out, uh, I was able to decipher that it was for an update to the software. And uh, once I ran it, then uh, everything was fine. But uh, there is a few things like that throughout the software where there is some, uh, some lingering Chinese text uh, or some severely broken uh, English that uh, makes some items uh, a little bit difficult to, to figure out. But let's go ahead and just go through this real quick. It's pretty standard. We are on this, uh, uh, we'll go here starting at the, at the My screen, which is basically uh, kind of a summary page telling you uh, what you've done uh, for this particular day. And unfortunately, I haven't had it on for the last couple of days, so there's not a whole lot of information here. Uh, the heart switch uh, actually allows you to turn it on and get a real-time reading of what your heart rate is. Uh, of course, you can see what other information gives you a step since your calories that you've consumed, uh, your sleeping hours. And then here are some of the things that, that don't make a lot of sense to me is that there's a siesta and a nap. Uh, obviously, I understand what a nap is, but siesta, uh, how that differs from sleep, uh, I'm not sure. But uh, moving on, uh, you go to the sleep, which again uh, will give you uh, some of this different information here, sleep, siesta, nap. Uh, and then it gives you an evaluation of uh, you know, based on the hours that you've slept, uh, gives you an, an evaluation of, of those different items. Uh, so are you, uh, do you have a lack of sleep uh, or are you just leisure sleeping or whatever based on these things? Um, again, not a whole lot of information, so sometimes it's a little difficult to understand exactly what the difference is between leisure and, and, and some of the other settings. Now you can click on these arrows and go back uh, throughout the days and it, uh, you see it does give you uh, some, some different options. And again, here we see lazy of sleep. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, moving on to sport, uh, which uh, is, is generally used to, to give you your activity, uh, to tell you how many steps you've taken uh, throughout the day, uh, the distance, your heart rate, and you can actually click on that. And it will give you a, a nice little uh, rundown of what your heart rate was uh, throughout the day which actually worked pretty well, and I actually like that. Uh, data, uh, of course, gives you uh, weekly and monthly statistics if you wanted to take a look at something like that. And then, of course, you get to the settings, which is where the, the meat of all the, uh, the information on here is as far as uh, you know, setting up the device uh, and, uh, and, and having all your settings configured. Uh, you can, of course, bind it to uh, the particular device that you have. Uh, you can download the data from the device. It basically forces a synchronization. Uh, apparently, it ties into WeChat, so you can uh, you can connect into WeChat and have those uh, those messages pop up on the, uh, the the fitness band itself. You can set your target steps. Uh, sedentary sedentary reminder uh, if you want to have it remind you every hour, or every two hours that you need to get up and walk around. Of course, you can set an alarm on it. Use it to take a photo. Um, auto heartbeat detection. You can turn this on and it will take uh, a, uh, a reading of your heart rate every hour and that's how I got that uh, uh, that chart that I showed you earlier of the heart rate. Uh, message setting, of course. Um, we'll go back from that. Allows you to set up different uh, different applications uh, to, uh, to show messages uh, on, on the fitness band when they pop up. Uh, of course, you can sync the time if the time is off. Uh, you can set some power save settings, and then of course, just some some generic stuff of your your software version, firmware version, uh, your user info, and then exiting the software. And that's it. And there you go. That is the uh, BZ Joy Fitness Band, and uh, this is, this is a decent fitness band. Uh, it, it does give you all the information that you would normally need out of a, out of a fitness band. It gives you your, your heart rate, your, uh, your steps that you take, sleep, so on and so forth. Um, the, the only real drawback uh, is the software. Uh, and the software itself isn't terrible. Uh, it's, it's easy enough to, to read and, and uh, easy enough to make out what it's talking about. Uh, there are a few uh, issues of broken English in there uh, and some leftover Chinese characters here and there. But if you can get past that, uh, it does work very well. Uh, the reports are very nice, uh, and uh, it, it just it just works. Uh, it is a solid uh, uh, alternative to some of the more expensive uh, fitness bands that are out there. So if you're looking for one of these, uh, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, this is certainly an option for you. So thank you again for stopping by HyperDog Digital, and we hope to see you again soon.